Lord Macduff, do you mind telling us what you saw? It was horrible, my king. I cannot say it. I'm sure it was. Are you sure you can't recollect anything? Yes, I am. Truly? Oh, gentle lady, twas not what you hear, but was what I say. The murder was a woman's ear. Would it be murder as it fell? Well then, thank you, Lord Macduff. Excuse me, sir, can you tell me what you saw? Well, I didn't actually see it. <laughs> but what I hear from people who did is that the now late King Duncan is a literal bloody mess. <laughs> but I hear that he was stabbed to death. I personally am afraid to see it. it makes me queasy inside. So I go. Thank you. Very have it. King Duncan is dead. With luck, we may uh, see the lord of the house. Asadan is not allowed into the house, but I trust we would not want to perturb our viewers with this awful sight. Thank you. Excuse me, Lord Macduff, can you tell me how you feel about the murder in your own house? It's too terrible for words! My cousin! <laughs> My poor cousin! Good evening, Scotland. We are live at Inverness I'm Castle bored. for King Macbeth's coronation party. Hey, guys. Don't touch my glass. <laughs> How are you doing? Hey. Russ, Lennox, you two never seem to get along. We have our differences, it's true. Yeah, yeah I can tell. You <laughs> sit so loudly and so rude. What's wrong with you? I like air with my water. You put elbow on table as well. <laughs> you very, very rude. Who is your mother? I must beat her and slap her with stick. <laughs> slap my mother with a stick? Let me yes. tell you about slapping someone's mama with a stick. <laughs> you know something. Hey, guys. What? Calm down. This is supposed to be a civilized party. I suppose. You're right. I drink water. Slap your mama with a stick. <laughs> Let me tell you something! <laughs> Enough with the mother jokes, you guys! Fine. Fine! <sighs> so, how's your mother? My mother's good. How's your mother? Okay. I know how your mom will look. Okay. So, with all of that, um, how would you word it? Childish behavior off to the side? Mother. <laughs> You are running a tightrope, Lennox. Well, thank you. <laughs> what was that for tightrope? <laughs> tightrope, you are. <laughs> What's wrong? You don't see that? See what? That! What's that? Don't worry about it. He's been delusional since he was a child. Why? Oh, okay. Then just it suddenly come. There was nothing better. So, about your mom. Don't touch glass. So, um. Ross, Lennox, what's with the uh, hat and sunglasses? We have a problem with hat and sunglasses. I we we like the hat and sunglasses. You know <laughs> what? This glass, this glass should be made sunmade. Sunglass. <laughs> sunglass. They should make sunglass. Uh, Go home. <laughs> he kind of works here, like you. I don't work here. <laughs> Wait, do I? You wear yeah, tie. Yeah, 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 you seriously work here. You wear tie, you look official, you work. <laughs> you splash, you work here. You work for me. Oh. You cry, how are you? Okay. Shut up. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. God, no, it's okay. Up. You can talk to me, I'm your king. Thank you. You're welcome. King. Ah. So, um, anything going on in the land that I should be aware of? McFarland shaved his sheep. Look what you do to the tablecloth. Oh, that was not me, that was you. <laughs> what? What do you keep going on about? Can such things be? And overcome us like a summer's cloud without a special wonder? You make me strange, even to the disposition that I owe. Even though I think that you've seen such things, 
you keep the ruby of your cheeks while mine are just blanched with fear. What's he talking about? Don't worry about it. Perhaps it's best the party breaks up. Good evening, Scotland. In our first story, we at SNN would like to discuss the sudden disappearance of Lord Macduff. Word has reached us that he is planning on joining the late King's son and returning with Prince Malcolm, who fled shortly after his father's death. We have not yet received word if Lord Macduff's outreach to Prince Malcolm was successful or not. In other news, Lady Macduff and her son were found dead in their home. In their home, and breaking news: the Queen has just has found sleepwalking and declared total um, delusion. This is SNL exclusive. You saw it first. Out, damn spot, out, I say. One, two, why then? Tis time to do it. Hell is murky. Fie, my lord, fie. A soldier, and a feared? What we need fear, who knows it? When we none can call our power to account? Yet, who would have thought the old man to have so much blood in him? We know not which, which he speaks but prior success from the castle said that this is common behavior from her as of right now. We are live at Burnham Woods where a great battle has broken out. Moments ago, Macbeth confessed to sending in assassins to kill Lord Macduff's family. No one can kill me. Only a man not naturally born of woman can kill me. I was born to a C-section. You, man not naturally born of woman, despite everything I have been told, it's coming true. I will fight. Lay on, Macduff! Scotland, live from Burnham Woods, King Macbeth is dead. We will keep coverage on these horrible events, but for now, all of us at SNN wish you a good evening.